Hello everybody and welcome back to our Rain World modding series. Um, in this video we are going to be going through how you can edit a pre-existing room, whether that be adding a new connection, adding geometry, whatever. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find the room that you want to change. So you can go to the Rain World interactive map there will be a link in the description. Now I've got Chimney Canopy open and I think I will choose CO4. This is a good room. So after we've chosen the room that we want to modify, we're going to want to check in with the region lease. So there'll be a link in the description to the region lease, of course. And when you open it, you're going to want to go down to the connections tab here at the bottom. Then you're going to want to scroll until you find the region that you're modifying. So for me, that's chimney canopy. Now we're going to check all of these to see if our room has already been claimed. Now we chose CO4 and I don't see a CO4 anywhere here. So what we can do is in one of these, we can do CC CO4. That is the room that we are claiming. And then in the area next to it, we can say the mod that it's for. So your mod name. And then next to that, we can say your username, your username. This would be the basic template for the region lease. Now that we've made sure it doesn't conflict with anything and we've claimed it for ourselves, assuming you have editing access, we can go ahead and continue with modifying the room that we chose. So you're going to want to open your, your level editor of choice. So, and then you're going to want to load in the level that you want to modify. So here I've got CO4. If you want to find the project files for all of the vanilla regions, you can download the official downpour editor um, or you can download Solar's repo, which has vanilla as well as plenty of modded regions. So what I'm going to do is choose a nice spot. I like here. Uh, I'm going to put you and you and you, and we're going to make a great connection here. So boom, there's our new connection. It's as simple as just modifying the file. Now I'm going to save this, but Make sure not to overwrite the vanilla one as, you know, it's nice to still have a copy of the original. Now, we are going to render this. After you've rendered your room, you are going to want to copy over the rendered room. Then we are going to open up our mod folder again, and we're going to go into world and then cc-rooms or whatever region you're modifying. So for me, that's chimney canopy. And I'll paste those here. Next, what we're going to want to do is go into modify world CC and open up world CC. Now, since we're modifying a room, when we put it in here, we need to make sure it still has all of the other connections to the rooms that it had before. So to do that, I'm just going to try and locate the original one. So we can go to our streaming assets folder, go into world, find CC and world CC, and I'm going to search CO4. And look, there it is. So this is what vanilla does. And these are the rooms it connects to. So after we have that, we can go in here and paste that in. Now, because we added a new connection, we need to add another thing here. Now let's go really quickly scan to see where our new one would go. So let's see up here. Here's the first one. Now I don't see any that are to the left or above it other than well, the first one, which means this is the new second one. So what we can do is add just another entry just like that. Now we actually already have a room. So what I'm going to do is just link these together. So now 
Our mod will modify the worldcc text file under worldcc, and it will merge this section into it. So it'll add our room and replace CO4 with our new connection to it. Then we can load up the game. So once we're in game, we can load up our uh, save, and then we can warp to the region that we want, and we can go to the region or the room that we've modified. So for me, that's CO4. And oh, would you look at that? Is that a new connection I spot? Oh, that's so wonderful. I must go see it. Look. And there we have it. We've modified a pre-existing room and we've made it lead to a room that we've added to Chimney Canopy. Isn't that so wonderful? In the next video, I'll be going over how to add a gate to your region so you can connect your region with the rest of the map. I hope you all learned something and enjoyed the, the, the process. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!